is probably going to be the longest 1.9 kilometres of my life. <laughs> Sorry, you can't see me properly. Currently off to go shark fishing and there's an oversized load. You've left that late wire, is it? <laughs> see how it goes. You probably can't see me again. I'll take that off. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm stuck here because they're reversing it in off the road and taking up the whole road and I'm not allowed to go past. So maybe I'll get fishing at some stage. I don't know when. Hopefully soon. <laughs> oh, jeez. The joys, the joys of life, I guess. faithful spot it's a little bit chilly <laughs> finally got past the house that was in the middle of the road that felt like it was taking forever but as you can probably tell you can see me I kind of did a thing <laughs> I made it so it was universal so I've got I've got one I've got one rod over there and then that one there. <laughs> I really need to get better at this, but I suck. I'll do it this way. No, I can't because I can't spin it around. I really suck, don't I? Yeah. So I've got two rods out so far. I've got a third that I brought and I'll probably put that out once the tide comes up a bit more. So I'm going, I'm going all out this morning, all out. I dare say we're going to be on. Easy out there. Jesus Christ, he's taking some wine. Exactly why one of these bigger reels. Let's hope it's what I came here for. I've only been here half an hour or something. Haven't even finished getting everything set up. <laughs> Can't feel too much at the moment. Jeez, he took some line though. Looks like he's just out there somewhere. Don't want to push it too much. Because I don't want to lose it. Hope this is recording. Looks like it is. I'm not 100% sure what this is. I know you ran hard. Damn hard. Where's me line? I can't see. You got to see this short, fat little ringer. Try and climb down that. Pretty sure I'm pretty sure it's a shark. He's still out there though. 
Right. I reckon he took 150 metres worth of line. See that? Yeah, there's me line way out there. I can see it lifting up off the water. I don't know if you can see that though. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh. Love to feel, lo oh yeah. Feel that sh head shake. I want to tighten the drag up a little bit, but I'm a little bit nervous to do that because I'm only using 20 pound mono. Everyone's like, oh, you can't use that for shark fishing. Well, I'm just about to prove him wrong. <laughs> but I've got to try and get him underneath this line into the boat ramp. Hope you can see, because I set that light up for standing up there. But the, with the way he was running, I had to try and get down here because there's a jetty right over there. Come on. Come on, you big behemoth. He's a good shark. He's a good shark if it's a shark. Like a damn good shark. Because this is the six foot six rod. And this is a lot stiffer than what the eight foot rod is. Oh, it's all right. I wonder what that noise was. It's the bloody sinker. I'm gonna, oh, oh. I think he's tangled up in the other line by the looks of that. But I'm gonna start trying to bring him over this way. Yeah, he's tangled up in the other line. Back that off, Jeremy. Back that off. Now I've got to fix that rod up. <laughs> oh, it's all happening at once. I was afraid that it'd happen. Should be just here somewhere. I haven't been able to see him yet. Back that off a little bit. He's there somewhere. I'm damn sure he's on that line, but that drag's not going off. Oh, he's being a prick. He's got me way down up, up against the bank there. Go on, buddy. Touching my leg now. Now I can see it right there. You turd. You turd. Now he's.
Oh, come on. There's nothing I could do for you. Don't tell me I've got a double hook up. Don't tell me. There it is. I've got to try and get him in. I've never had this happen. Yeah, if he gets cut off, he gets cut off. Yeah, I, I did feel that. And I'm only running 20 pound mono on that too. <laughs> um, yeah. And where's his hook in this fella? Back in the water. That's what I'm thinking as well. Come on, buddy. get too many of them on there. On the, um... Now he's trying to swim towards the shore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get myself organised for the day. Sweet, thanks for that, mate. Well, that was mental. <laughs> it was mental. <laughs> oh fuck! First bull shark of the of the trip, and my very first bull shark tagged. But oh god, he got tangled up in the other rod, and then. As you can probably tell from my commentary, I got another hit up. Sadly, I lost that one. Um, there's a there's a jetty over there, and he got underneath that. Yes, I'm having a smoke. Leave me alone. And old mate that came to put his boat in, <laughs> I said, "Oi, oi, oi! Come here, come here! Can you give me a hand? Can you give me a hand? Quick!" And he started manhandling that one. And like, he manhandled it a lot more than I did the one I caught. And that 20 pound line held up awesomely. But because it got underneath that jetty, but because it got underneath that jetty, he tangled himself around something. And once I, once I got that tag sharked and released, I took over again. And um, like you could, you could, you could fit, feel it pulling on something. And he was, I, like, there's the jetty 
out there and I saw him in this area. So the lion was wrapped around there and he was in this area. And let's just say he was big. Like his dorsal probably would have been like as long as my forearm. I, I would have loved to get that one in. But you know, when you're fishing by yourself, shit happens. <laughs> That's all I can say. But yes, my very first shark tagged. First, first tag I've ever done. And I'm just filling out the paperwork now. I've got two rods back out, but we'll see see if I get anything. That other one took off up that way somewhere. So we'll see. Because I want I I want it. I want him. <laughs>